Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts like the chart behind me, which is of Rivian Automotive, ticker symbol R-I-V-N. And so I wanted to do a follow-up on last week's video because we closed at a pretty significant price, closing on Thursday, January 25th at a price of $15. And so in last week's video, I had noted basically because of the convergence of all of these levels that $15 seemed like it would be a pretty significant level. And as long as we could hold it, we might be finding a bottom. And so I just kind of wanted to go over my thoughts on whether or not uh, we will be forming a bottom soon and some signs uh, to kind of tell us that in the coming days. And so uh, I did go over all of these levels in last week's video and I also tried to clean up the chart so it looks a little bit uh, uh, crisper so you can see these levels uh, identified pretty clearly. Uh, so the first level is uh, 1560, uh, which when I made the video last week, that was on January 18th and the uh, price on the date did dip below 1560 but closed above at 1574. So I was thinking that might serve as support. However, I did think further downside could be possible, like going down to, uh, let's see, $15, which is the orange line. And that just so happens to be not only uh, the close of the day, but also the open. So we got this beautiful doji for the day, opening and closing at the exact same price. And uh, this could suggest a reversal, that there's some indecision and that the bottom could be in or nearly in. And so I am hoping that we start to see a reversal, but I do think that the close for tomorrow, Friday, January 26th, could be telling in whether or not we continue to the downside or if we start to find a bottom. And so another level that I went over in last week's video is the thin white line, and that is based on this Fibonacci retracement going from the low of April 26th to the high of July 27th. And so that Fibonacci level is the 786, and that is at a price of $15.19. So just between the orange and yellow lines. So another level of significance right around there. And uh, yeah, and then I also found this uptrending red line uh, based on the lows over here, these two pivot points you can see circled in blue there. And uh, we did actually dip below that today, hitting a low of $14.59. And so, you know, my thoughts for, you know, whether or not this has found a bottom or if we'll see signs of a bottom is really going you know, to be based on the weekly candle, what we see for tomorrow's close. And so what I would like to see, what I would think suggests we may be finding a bottom, of course I could be wrong, is if we get a close above right around $14.70 because that does appear to be kind of like the convergence of, you know, where the price would be with that red uptrending line. So as long as we can close above 1470 or here where the cursor is 1472, I think that could be good because this inverted hammer candle that we're seeing or starting to see for the week could suggest a reversal. Just like up here, we saw this inverted hammer candle and this inverted doji cross. Uh, that would be a, uh, let's see, a hangman cross, I believe, or a, a gravestone cross. I believe that's a gravestone cross. Those suggested a reversal. And down here, that would suggest a reversal as well. So if we do get a close above 1470, ideally, if we get a close above $15 or especially 1560, that could suggest that we are starting to form a bottom. However, that could also suggest that we are starting to form a bear flag. So I think it's good to be cautious of that. I am not the best at identifying or distinguishing between bearish and bullish consolidation. Uh, so I do think that is something good to consider and be uh, aware of. 
And also I do want to note something on the other side of that. While there might be bearish consolidation, I do see something that is quite bullish. I think Ed might be blocking it, so I'm just gonna move it. Uh, and so based on the low back here when we hit $11.68, we see an RSI above 30. And now we see a higher price with an RSI below 30. The current RSI is 27.8. And so that is bullish divergence suggesting that the price could be going higher. We could be at a bottom or near it. But if not, if we do break below and close the week below 1470, I could see us doing a full retrace down to right around $11 or more precisely 1168. So do be cautious of that. Pay attention to the close tomorrow and see how the stock is trading. If it does seem to have some strength, if we do start to see a pickup on some volume, that could suggest we are going to start to see a reversal back to the upside, potentially to fill these gaps up here around $23. So that could be great. But you know, those are just my thoughts. If you found them helpful, make sure you like the video, share your thoughts in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.